tended to, uh, not tended, ended up being a worthy time to video clip save, so. I don't know how much of that got cut out, or if any of it got cut out at all, but hopefully didn't cut any of it out. Hopefully I'm good. So we're gonna head over to, we're gonna actually equip the Magnum for now, seeing as I have backup ammo for it. So that way I can give her that ammo as fast as possible if I need to get you rid of it. We're gonna head here, and I believe it's gonna give me the chance to uh, enter in a password, or I gotta, select electronically. Alright, so... Let's go back up this way. I think what I want to do... Oops. Is this... I don't know. And there was one door down here in this section, which is the battle basement floor, basement third floor. Uh, uh, and maybe there was a door. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's so fucking creepy. Dead body. Oh, wait, what's that? That's a battery. That's a battery pack, right? Yeah, there we go. Battery pack. Hell yeah. God, that's so fucking creepy. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, didn't mean to do it. God damn it. We're gonna take a look at basement second floor. Oh. So it screwed up, didn't it? Unlock the door on. Yeah, see, it screwed up. It said B3F in the guide, not B2F. It's B2F that you're looking for. That way you can enter in this password cell. Enter. Accessing. Permission granted. Unlock. Yeah. Alright, so let's see this one accessing. Unlocked. Huh. So, where exactly is that? Entering this room. Uh, um. Oh, okay, so I see exactly. Uh, okay, I see where that is. So I'm going to check that one room out first, the third floor basement room. Uh, and that way if I screw up I can just load from that one save that I did just not too long ago. And do this all over again and then I can just go to where I need to go get the third and final MO disc which will allow me to uh, progress and try and get Chris back. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that. I don't have a lot of room. Oh! Well then. Sorry, sir. Ooh! No need to burn your bitch ass. F-A-X. Prompt actions are demanded. To sanitation division, attention manager of sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Sen Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confiden confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. 
After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect a significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick, quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, this is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state of state police and stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. All right. A security system passcode transmission device. If you had an ML disk, you could transmit the passcode to the system. Hmm. There seems to be something behind this sturdy door. Open it. No. An x-ray for Tyler. Hmm. It sounds like there's something in here. But I took care of him with a headshot, so I don't know what can't be him. Uh, we take the slide filter. No, but I know where the slide filter is now. So what I will do is I don't know. I gotta. So I know what's in there. I took care of the zombie with a headshot, nonetheless, with a magnum. Um. So what I'll do is I'll head up to the second floor towards where the visual data room is. I'll go inside there. If there are any zombies in there, I'll take care of them. And when I am all clear of no zombies, I'm going to pause it, stop the recording, and I'll have to be right back. I have to go AFK or go take care of something or do something that is unimportant to the episode or the Let's Play. So, yeah. Alright. So it's a... Uh, Once you've unlocked doors, log off and head back to the central square area and back to the hallway in with the x-ray room. Oh, okay. What's this? You take the ammo disc? Sure. Oh, what do you know? Shotgun ammo. Yeah, cool. All right. All right, well, I'm gonna go and put some stuff away, reload the shotgun, and then pause it. But I would pause it near the item box, because at least that way I can save it. So, yeah. Alright, so now that I saved it, I'm going to stop the recording, and I'll be right back. Uh, well, for you, I'll be right back. For me, I will not be back until maybe five or so minutes. So, 
I will catch you in about five or so minutes. So, yeah. All right, and we are back. What we're gonna do is go into, ooh, the one room where we killed the zombie. Hopefully he's not there anymore, because again, we did use the magnum and just pulled off one shot and killed him. So, he shouldn't be there. If so, we're gonna have to come all the way back here, get the kerosene, and the goddamn lighter and burn his ass, but either way, he should be dead, so we shouldn't have to worry about him, at least for now. I don't see much left in this area, except for that one door, a double door that I couldn't go through. So I'm assuming that would be the final area. And then in this hall right down here where the three uh, lights are, that's where you activate and open up to free Chris. And then after you free Chris, or after you're able to free, able to free Chris, or after you do something else, you are able to leave through the double doors and enter the final boss fight, or just leave the mansion, or not leave the mansion, go to blow it up, is what I mean. Alright. So, we could pick up that, or not. You know what, actually we will. We will, we, we, we're gonna pick up these uh, ink ribbons, and we're gonna pick up, pick up the grenade launcher ammo, and we're gonna go and bring it back to the item box, and save it, not save it, uh, put the stuff in, in the item box, as well as go get the first aid spray from the visual, and we're gonna go and bring that to the safe item box as well. So I will actually just stop the recording right here for real quick until I have all that stuff put in the item box and then I'll come back and we'll be back in that one room. So I'll catch you guys in a few minutes. Fucked up again. I took a screenshot. Didn't want to do that. Alright, so we're back in this one room. We're going to go check and see if the guy is still here or if he's, yeah, he's gone. Alright, so we're in this one room. We're going to check out what we got to do. Head back into the double doors on the upper northeast corner, blah, 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 in the room. You'll find the research note, a flash grenade, and a first aid kit to access the computer and log in this job, blah, blah, blah. Once you do that, just Uh, end of that, yep, okay. In another room you've just unlocked on the right side of the hallway, you enter a naked zombie. Which, I guess, that turned out to be a lab coat zombie? Scientist? Guy? Kill it and pick up the slide filter and the fax file. There is also an ink ribbon in the sink on easy. There is an MO disk reader in here where you can use one of the MO disks. A re for the nitro compound is also in here, but that you'll get to later. For now, take the slide filter and head back up to the stairs and... To the visual data room, the M an ML eh, an ML disc labs on the desk at the end of the, uh, the hallway past the visual data room. Enter the visual data room and you'll find a first aid spray on the table and an ML disc on the shelves. On your left, also on the left side, you'll find a key code panel that requires a four digit code, which you'll now find out. Go to the slideshow projector and use the slide filter. View, uh, view the slideshows, slideshow. On the last slide, you'll find the digit 8462 under the code into the code panel, and the door will open uh, to the editing room where you can get the laboratory key and watch Ken's film if you so desire. Now you have the laboratory key, head downstairs and unlock the two doors on the southeast end of the central square. And discard the key. First, make sure you have a MO disc if you wish to save Jill, or AKA my position, Chris, and your shotgun before you enter the room on the left. You'll encounter some chimeras. Push the sh push the uh, push the shelf forward and enter the ventilation shaft. Then immediately head through the ventilation shaft on the left before you get plastered by the chimeras. You'll end up in the morgue and you'll find a MO disc reader where you can MO disc. You'll find more than likely encounter a couple chimeras unless you're really fast. A chimera will jump out of the ventilation shaft if you try to leave the room through the exit, af uh, through the exit after placing the MO disc. 
To prevent that from happening, simply turn around and go back through the ventilation shaft. Push the shelf forward and back, head back out into the central area. You can find shotgun shells in the shelf if you're playing on the hard difficulty. Then head through the door, uh, the other door you unlocked with the laboratory key in this T-shaped hallway. Make sure you kill the naked zombies, especially the one on your right, before you continue on the north side of the hallway. It'll find a large elevator that doesn't work because it needs to be powered up. Uh, on the other side of the hallway, you'll find a large elevator door. Okay. Uh, on the south side of the corridor, you'll see a large door that leads to the boiler room, where you'll surely find chimeras everywhere. But for now, head to the small door in the med middle, not metal, in the middle, and enter the safe room. Grab the ink ribbon, first aid spray, and shotgun shells. It is highly recommended that you save your game at this point. The task you're about to attempt is very tricky and can result in a sudden death and explosive death. Good to know. So we're going to just go back up here for a little bit. Alright, so we're going to... I swear there's something over here. Slide filter, yeah. So I do have shotgun, the shotgun, only the shotgun. I have six shots, and I have my handgun. So I'm feeling like I might need to replace it with the Magnum, because the Magnum has just as strong of a kick as the, or power, as the shotgun. So I don't know, but that could just be me. No, all right. Film has been sent in, set in place. View it? Yeah. Umbrella Bio-Organic bio Weapon Official Report. MA-39 Cerberus FA-0803 Neptune MA-121 Hunter T-002 Tyrant I don't know if we fought him yet. We might have. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He was the he was the motherfucker that was in the coffin. Yeah, okay, yeah. We fought him. Bioorganic weapons research group development staff. Eight three four one seven zero six two three. Eight four six two. I think. Use umbrella bio. Oh, okay. Same thing. Eight, four, six, two. Okay, so I was right. Because, you know, I had to look at the thing already. Alright, so I believe it's right here, right? A passcode entry terminal. Use it? Yes. Eight, four, six, two. Hey, there we go. Alright, so what's inside here? Another code. We'll open the editing room where you can get the laboratory key and watch Kenneth's film if you so desire. Now you have the laboratory key. Head downstairs and lock the door. Two doors on the southeast side of, of the central square and discard the key. So I'm going to stop it here for the recording. I will pick it back up in a second. So, Alright. I want to watch that Kenneth video, so let me just take the laboratory key. Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. View the film? Yes, we will. And this is most likely going to be a cutscene 
So we are going to take this time to patiently watch it quietly. So, get your popcorn, kids, because we're going to enjoy this film. And, sh well, right now. So if you don't have the popcorn right now, well, you're going to have to pause the video and, you know, get it. So, yeah. You ready, kids? You ready? You ready to watch this video? It's most likely going to be really gruesome and bloody. Or boring shit, so. You know. I just I couldn't I couldn't hold that in. Oh my bad. I'm sorry. That just that just <laughs> that so looked so oh that I don't know. That just looked really really pretty shitty. It looked really shitty. Is it gonna show the same thing again if we watch it again? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> The camera's so fucking shaky, there's no reason for it. Okay. We waste enough time. Okay, we're gonna go and unlock those doors. Uh, how many doors did it say that there was? One or two? Um... Head downstairs and lock the two doors on the southeast end of the central square and discard the key. Alright. me to unlock what doors these doors right use the laboratory key use la there's no further use for this key discard it yes all right so now that we've discarded it first make sure you have a mo disc if you wish to save Jill or Chris we have already went through all this and your shotgun before you enter the room on the left you will encounter some chimeras, push the shelf forward and enter the ventilation shaft, and you immediately head through the ventilation shaft on the left before you plash by chimeras. You'll end up in the morgue and you'll find a MO disc reader where you can use the, another MO disc. You'll more than likely encounter a couple chimeras um, on the left as in right here or on the left as in this one. Room on the, I guess this is the room on the left. I don't know. I'm hoping this is the one that wants me to go into. If not, I can sure as hell just dart for out. All right, so uh, room on the left. You'll encounter some chimeras. Push the shelf forward and enter the vent ventilation shaft. Then immediately head through the ventilation shaft on the left before you get plastered by chimeras. So this seems like it could possibly be, yeah. Pick up the shotgun ammo, I guess. Pick the shotgun shells, yes. All right, so we've headed through, we've headed through this one. Um, Another the ventilation shaft, and you'll immediately head through the ventilation sh uh, shaft on the left before you get plastered by cameras. You'll end up in the morgue. So we need to believe. Okay, this might be the morgue. Um. You end up in the morgue, and you'll find a MO disc reader where you can use another MO disc. You'll more than likely encounter a couple cameras unless you you're really fast. Camera will jump out. As the ventilation shaft, if you try to leave the room through the exit after placing the ammo disc to prevent that from happening, simply turn around and go back through the ventilation shaft. Uh, so, just 
die. Screw it. I have fucking glory. I have the shotgun ammo. Don't have the health. All right. Oh. Or die. Oh my God. Will you please? Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I guess I'm supposed to go through this way. And then this is the morgue. Am I not gonna you? Battery, we take it, yes. Security system, passcode, transmission device. If you had an MO disk, you could transmit the passcode to the system. Use. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Alright. Shelf is full of various antitoxins. Antitoxins. Okay, so I remember. Okay, so I remember seeing one of those passcode things before somewhere else. So I'm gonna go and find that, and use that. So because I got rid of one of my MO discs, so that'll you know, kind of help. So I will stop the recording real, real quick, and then I will read over what I have to do real, just to make sure I'm doing everything correctly, as well as check out to see if I can find that. Uh, other one. I think it's back where the x-rays were. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it wasn't in the x-ray room, but it was just close to the x-ray room. So it's where we got the uh, slide film thing. I'll just get... Yep. Alright, so let's just do... Oh, wrong button. We can just use this. I get second one. So we're basically going backwards with this. So that means... We might have passed one, I think. I don't know, but we're gonna go to that final door and we are going to uh, go inside there. So, I'm gonna stop the recording, get where I need to be, make sure I have what I need to have, and I will be right back. All right, so we're gonna make our way to the final door, which would be this way. That double door, I believe, is the elevator, which we don't want to go no wait no that's where we went to unlock the uh video development area and the uh other one other room whatever the hell all right so it says to push the da -da -da -da. then head through the other door you unlocked with the laboratory key in this t-shaped hallway make sure you kill the naked zombies especially the one on your right before you continue on the north side of the hallway you'll find a large elevator that doesn't work because it needs to be powered up on the south side of the corridor you'll see a large door that leads to the boiler room from where you'll surely find chimeras chimeras everywhere i mean uh but for now head through the small door in the middle of the end uh of the middle and enter the safe room Grab the ink ribbon, first aid spray, and shotgun shelves. It's highly recommended that you save your game at this point because of, you know, how blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Alright, so I guess uh, it's this way, this door. This is the safe room, I believe. Because I saw the elevator and then the boiler room stuff, so this should be the safe room. Yep. First aid spray. Will you take the first aid spray? Uh, sure, it's the safe room, so I could just put stuff in a, uh, item box, right? Yep. Shotgun shells. Take that. Thank you very much. Where's the item box? It's right there. Okay, cool. Alright, so I'm 
don't see the ink ribbons, but uh, it, that's whatever. I don't really need them anyways. I have nine, so should do. Shut up. Oh, there they are. Never mind. I see them. Refrigerator isn't turned. Huh. I wonder if I could turn it on. Hmm. Come on, stop spazzing out. No, I can't turn it on. Can't make an attempt to turn it on. Huh. Well, I guess we'll save it. And stop the recording. Uh, again, sorry, but you know. Stop the recording and then start it back up. And continue on. Because apparently it's dangerous from here on out, so... So this is going to get very dangerous. I have found out that I've been press uh, run moving with the analog stick, which meant I was running the entire time without knowing it. Now this next part, I was told not told. I read up and heard that you're not supposed to run at all or fire a gun. And that there are chimeras and other zombies and shit that try to attack you while you're trying to transport something somewhere. And that now means that I'm not going to be using the analog sticks to move around. Which is something new for me for this Let's Play. I'm going to be using the uh, directional uh, buttons. The D-pad. Because this is what it looks like when you're walking. Left on the D-pad turns you left. Right on the D-pad turns you right. Back on the D-pad makes you back up. Forward on the D-pad? Well, forward. I mean, up, not forward. So, I have to play not, you know, not just being able to turn the analog stick and run that direction, but I have to turn first and then walk forward. That is going to be so fucking annoying, and it's going to piss me off because I'm going to have to make sure that there's nothing there to attack me. Oh, my God. And it would help if my goddamn phone doesn't have a charger keep falling out of it so I can actually focus here. So I'm going to have to get used to doing this. Chances of nitro explosion. Firing a powerful weapon. Shotgun magnum rocket launcher carries a 25% chance of explosion. Uh, getting caught in the explosion of your own flash grenade has a 20% chance of explosion, but I don't have flash grenades because I'm not Chris. Um, and this is what I have on me for right now. Um, when a zombie grabs you, there is a 30% chance of explosion. When a chimera grabs you, there is a 20% chance of explosion. When you are running, the nitro randomly explodes after 1 to 3 seconds. In hard mode, 2 to 4 seconds. In normal mode, four to five six seconds on easy in easy mode place the capsule back in the m machine in the boiler room and breathe a deep sigh of relief run around and evade the cameras and enter the door on make sure you have an mo disc be because you'll find the third and final mo disc reader in the next room straight ahead from the door you Door. Use your heavy weapon against the chimeras before you attempt to use the MO disc reader, since you'll encounter several of them when you're done keeping done keep heading south and you'll find another door to enter. Oh boy. Is this going to be fun? So let's actually just scroll this back up a bit. Uh, make sure you have your cross shotgun equipped and then in the head of the boiler room. As soon as you enter, head immediately into the right and kill the chimera to prevent it from interfering with your next task. One shot from the magnum will kill it. Take the empty fuel supply capsule and head back to the room with the refueling device on the northern side of the laboratory. Your task is to fuel the capsule with nitro compound and get it back to the boiler room so you can get power to the elevator without running or being stuck by it being stuck by a zombie or a chimera. Use the empty fuel supply capsule on the refueling device and you'll have a fuel supply capsule filled with nitro compound, which could result in a fatal explosion if disturbed. Don't go to your inventory screen to do this, just press the action button.
All right. So it's gonna be immediately at what on my left or is on my on my right? Uh, assuming this way, right? Or this way? No idea. Where the hell is it? Oh, right here. Ooh! Right in the head. Well then. Three of them done and gone with. I am so not gonna be looking forward to this at all. Oh, my ear. What the fuck? Um. Great. Fine, there we go. Oh, hey, hey, whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. Hey. No, you had no head, why were you still alive? Holy shit. Alright, I'm gonna stop the recording real quick. Son of a bitch. And pause it. I bet. All right, stop the recording. All right, after taking care care of a mobile game problem, uh, I now nah, do it. Oh, just fucking get the shit out of the fuck. Fuck you. It's a dick, dude. Connor's gonna kiss my ass. What? The fuck? shots. Alright. Can I... A lab self-destruct mechanism. It's huge. Yeah. No power to the main elevator. Start it up. The system won't initialize. It appears to need some kind of fuel to get it started. Um, make sure you're equipped with a shotgun and head to the boiler room. As soon as you enter, you head immediately to your right and kill this camera to prevent it from interfering with your next task. One shot, the magnet will kill it. Take the empty uh, fuel supply capsule and head back to the room with the refilling device on the northern side of the laboratory. Your task is to fill the capsule with nitro compound and get it back to the boiler room. But I don't seem to see that anywhere in here. Unless I've passed it. I don't know. I don't seem to see it. I probably passed it and... Oh, you know what? That's probably the blue light. I'm fucked up. It was all lit up in blue and I should have saw that. And I was like, oh, I gotta pick that up. But then again, I did and I avoided it for that sole reason. And... And I went that way, and that was not even needed, so... Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. A refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an ex empty capsule. Will you take the fuel supply capsule? No, because I'm gonna go save it after I did all that work. Uh, 
I suppose I might, might, I might as well go get Chris too. So I'm gonna save it, go get Chris, and take care of all that, and that should be that, right? Wait, was there hallways down here? No. Okay. Hmm. Whatever. I'm gonna go save it, go get Chris, and then come back and do that shit. So, yeah. I shall be right back. 